This week marks the fourth, 400th anniversary of the discovery of the Barnegat Bay by European settlers. The milestone isn't getting a lot of attention with the exception of one Monmouth County organization. And Ed Rogers has the story. The Black Eagle is a vintage wooden pleasure yacht that was built in 1951. Out on the Barnegat Bay, they're thinking about history that dates back even further. This week marks the 400th anniversary of the discovery of the bay by Henry Hudson. Hudson sailed to the mouth of the bay as he searched for a northwest passage to India. He did not come into the inlet because it was very, very dangerous. The tide was rushing out and he said this word, Barnegat, which is a Dutch word meaning burning, swirling waters. Too dangerous for me to go in. Hudson continued north to the waters off Manhattan. But the local Indians, not only here, but in New York, said these bodies of water have been here for 6,000 years. All of a sudden, some white guy comes over from England and says, I discover it. Bob O'Brien has been coming to the bay for 70 years, and he's heading an effort to mark the Dutch explorer's visit. This discovery anniversary of what is the state's largest water body has not been marked by any large or well-promoted events in New Jersey compared to the New York City celebration of Hudson's arrival. O'Brien believes the reason may date back to the 1950s when the legislature approved and then overrode a gubernatorial veto of a bill that gave New Jersey the nickname the Garden State, putting the emphasis on farming, leading those lawmakers and perhaps the public to overlook New Jersey's rich maritime history. O'Brien says even though the number of boat builders here has shrunk from 200 to 48, more revenue comes from the ocean-going industry than farming. Then, as in now, more dollars are derived from the boating business than selling tomatoes or blueberries. 270, 275,000 boats are registered right here in Barnegat Bay. The building, selling, and servicing of boats is a trillion-dollar business here. Huge. Even as I mark the 400th anniversary of the discovery of the Barnegat Bay, there are still concerns about contaminants that run off into the waterway. Water quality in the bay has improved in some respects over the last 30 years, but there are still problems caused by nitrogen and phosphorus from lawn applications that eventually make it into the bay. When I was a little boy, you swam happily in the bay every day. Then during the 50s and 60s, you couldn't because it was sewage polluted. Now, although we've cleaned that problem up, it's net stinging nettle polluted because of the phosphorus and the nitrogen. So I'm sure we can deal with this problem. It's going to take probably a decade. The state DEP says it continues to work on a policy to cut nitrogen levels. The anniversary of Henry Hudson's discovery will not be totally forgotten, though. The Museum of Boating will hold a reception and exhibits this weekend at its headquarters in Bayhead. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Bayhead.